In this problem, we're asked to determine the delta H for the surroundings of a reaction, not the reaction system itself. This is the environment around the reaction system. What is the delta H for that? So the reaction is sodium reacting with water to produce sodium hydroxide and hydrogen gas. The equation we're going to use to determine the delta S surroundings is delta S surroundings equals negative delta H reaction over the temperature in Kelvin. So first let's figure out what delta H reaction is. We're going to use an equation from Gen Chem 1. Delta H reaction equals the delta H of the products minus the delta H formation of the reactants. We look up these values in a table. Uh, we outline the moles of the reactants and the products and we substitute those values into this equation. And the delta H for this reaction is negative 368.6 kilojoules. Because it's customary to report delta S values in joules, we're going to convert the delta H reaction from kilojoules to joules. Then we proceed and use the equation that we saw above, negative delta H reaction over T substituting the values for the delta H in joules and the temperature of 298 Kelvin. We have, uh, we have a delta S surroundings for the given chemical equation of 1,236.9 joules per Kelvin. Now that value is for the equation as written. Two moles of sodium, two moles of water, two moles of sodium hydroxide, one mole of um, hydrogen. If we want to determine the delta S surrounding for 2.11 moles of sodium, we would expect the answer to be greater than 1236.9 because it's not 2, it's 2.11. Because if it were exactly 2, we would end up with 1236.9 joules because we have 2 moles in the equation. We could solve this using dimensional analysis. We start off with 2.11 moles of sodium and use the ratio 1236.9 joules for every two moles of sodium and we end up with slightly more than 1236.9 joules as we would expect 1.3 times 10 to the third or 1300 joules per Kelvin. Here is a similar problem where we're asked to calculate the entropy change for the surroundings. The reaction is between HCl gas and ammonia gas to produce ammonium chloride solid. Like before, let's calculate delta H reaction using the equation delta H formation products minus delta H formation reactants. Looking up the values for the delta H's, substituting into the equation, we have delta H of negative 176 kilojoules. We'll convert that to joules as we did before. Then we will proceed and calculate delta S surrounding. Substituting the value of delta H reaction in joules into the equation, we have a positive 590.6 joules per Kelvin. And because that delta S surroundings is for this equation, everything is a one-to-one -one ratio. So for one mole of HCl, the delta H surroundings is 590.6. But for 2.45 moles of HCl, the delta H surroundings is 1.45 times 10 to the third joules per Kelvin. 